killing characteristics of antibiotics. Antibiotics can have a time-dependent killing or a concentration-dependent killing. In concentration-dependent killing, the high initial concentration in blood is required for effective tissue penetration and inhibition of anti uh, antimicrobial. So there is a minimum inhibitory concentration. Minimum inhibitory concentration of an antibiotic is the minimum amount of concentration in serum required to prevent the growth of a microorganisms in the blood. So the efficacy in concentration dependent killing depends upon how much times the maximum concentration is more than the minimum inhibitory concentration. So efficacy is the ratio of C max by MIC in a concentration dependent killing and high initial concentration aids in tissue proliferation. So antibiotics which have a concentration dependent killing are aminoglycosides. So in this single dosing is required, OD dosing is required and that dose should be high enough to have an effective tissue penetration. While in time dependent killing, the amount of time the antibiotic concentration in serum remains above the minimum inhibitory concentration is important. So optimal effect is obtained by maximizing the time for which concentration stays above the MIC. So the antibiotics which have a time dependent killing are beta lactams and glycopeptides. So usually such antibiotics we will have a 8th hourly or a BD dosing. So the importance of this antibiotic dosing is that whenever in between this dosing we should try to maintain the blood concentration above the MIC and the maximum effect is achieved in septic patients when this time is approaching 100% of the dosing interval. And some antibiotics it is the area under the curve bar minimum inhibitory concentration ratio which is important for effective inhibition killing of an antimicrobial. So the antibiotics which have an area under the curve by MIC ratio which is important are fluoroquinolones. So the ratio of the area under the curve during a 24 hour period to minimum inhibitory concentration is important to achieve adequate plasma concentrations. Thank you.